And I'm going to actually do something really unusual. And I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. And I will tell you, the one thing you will not hear him talk about is you. You will not hear him talk about your needs, your dreams, and your, need, and your desires. And I'll tell you, I believe you deserve a president who actually puts you first. And I pledge to you that I will. Vice President Harris, thank you. President Trump, on that point, I want to get your response. Well, I would like to respond. Let me just ask, though, why did you try to kill that bill, and successfully so? That would have put thousands of additional agents and officers on the border. First, let me respond as to the Please. rallies. She said people start leaving. People don't go to her rallies. There's no reason to go. And the people that do go, she's busing them in and paying them to be there and then showing them in a different light. So she can't talk about that. People don't leave my rallies. We have the biggest rallies, the most incredible rallies in the history of politics. That's because people want to take their country back. Our country is being lost. We're a failing nation. And it happened three and a half years ago. And what, what's going on here, you're going to end up in World War III, just to go into another subject. What they have done to our country by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating... They're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as the reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase, make America great again. She's destroying this country, and if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. I just want to clarify here, you bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is the- but People on television say my dog was taken and used for food. So maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. I'm not taking this from but television. But the people on I'm television are saying manager. their dog was eaten by the people that went there. Again, the Springfield city manager says there's no evidence of that.